The schools are preparing for delays in the fall. Fort Wayne teachers, students and their parents are optimistic that schools will be open and that classes will begin on time in August. ABC 21's Corinne Rose caught up with some of them at a teacher parade celebrating what was supposed to be the last day of school. We just want to really show our families our support um, and also thank them for their support throughout this um, really difficult time. Teachers at several Fort Wayne community schools, including Studi Elementary, hit the streets in makeshift parades to celebrate what would have been the final day of classes for the year. After a challenging past few months in a district that does not have the technology to implement e-learning for every student, teachers have kept in touch with families through video and phone calls and texting. They say families have been seeking contact and support from teachers while trying to keep their education going at home. It's been kind of difficult with the schedules and stuff, but their teachers have been awesome doing Zoom meetings and everything for them just really to help already. them learn. They're very hyper. They miss their friends and you can see that she's hyper. Grandmother Rita Armstrong has had her hands full these past few months and even though most summer camps are canceled, she thinks her grandchildren will have plenty to keep them occupied this summer. We got a swimming pool and and uh, you know we got a slip and slide. They didn't go throw the ball out with their, they got two pit bulls and they're gonna be busy. Third grade teacher Hannah Nickerson says there are some other things that parents might want to consider adding this summer. I've suggested to my families that they try to do something at least one time a week um, and that would include um, reading for pleasure um, as well as working on maybe some math facts. Um, just start keep it simple but so the students don't have such a big gap to um, make up hopefully when we get back to school on time in August. That's my hope. Teachers we spoke with say they hope district administrators continue with plans to implement e-learning, which they say would have helped with students' education these past few months. Corinne Rose, ABC 21. Secretary of State